Losing a friend at an early age, never easy, but losing two at the same time, even more difficult. Last week, brother and sister, Connor Rodriguez and Shelby Horton died in a car crash in Sullivan County. DeSherry and McBroom spoke with friends and family of the brother and sister on the impact they made in others' lives. He also found out how they will be remembered. DeSherry. Hearing that one of your best friends passed away at any age is difficult, but friends and family of Connor and Shelby are doing their best to move forward while still enjoying the memories. Connor Rodriguez and Shelby Horton died on March 25th in a crash in Sullivan County, but their family and friends say their memories will live on forever. Their friends describe both as driven individuals, with Shelby being part of the National Honor Society and Art Club at Sullivan High School, while Connor was a member of Beta Club and the track and field team. Going to school on Monday after spring break was hard for some friends, but being at home brought up just as many memories as being in school didn't want to be stuck in the house because it's just, it, rem it reminded me of how um, Shelby and Connor used to hang out here all the time in my house. The teen's mother, Barbie Horton, says during the viewing at the funeral home, one young lady came up to her and said her son is the only reason she stayed in school. Best friends of Shelby and Connor are trying to smile more, remembering how the siblings brought such a spark to everyone. They were the best people you could ever meet um just amazing people they always wanted to have fun all the time like they were the life of the party you could say <laughs> always lit up the room whenever they came in horton says her daughter graduated a year early from sullivan high school so that she could enroll in ball state to be a teacher for andy shepler he and shelby have been friends since preschool and says life without her will be difficult me and Shelby were like the type of friends that could call at 3 a.m. and always rely on the other person to answer, even if we were sleeping, you know. But I'm going to really miss, you know, hanging out with her and her advice and her smile. On Tuesday, services were held for Shelby and Connor in which hundreds of students and teachers showed up to support. It was hard for me to say goodbye. Uh, I try to to hold in the sadness but i couldn't hold it in whenever i got near near them so i had to let it all out and uh that's where i felt sadness just letting everything go shelby and connor's mom barbie horton says she was touched by how many lives her children touched and the overwhelming support of the community horton as her children will truly be missed